What's up everyone? My name is Alan, founder and consultant at Fornow Marketing and welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be a brace tutorial on how to make a connected content API call. Making a connected content API call can be a bit scary right on time for Halloween, but don't worry, this video will walk you through everything. First, let's start with the definition of connected content. So from the Braze documentation, Braze connected content expands on marketing personalization to boost customer engagement and conversions. And what it does is it allows you to insert any information accessible via API directly into messages you send to users. So you can either pull content either directly from your web server or from publicly accessible APIs. Using connected content, as long as we have the right credentials, we can pull data from anywhere, even outside of Brace, and insert that data into your message bodies. And this opens up so many use cases, for example, for more general information, like an e-commerce business's product catalog, we can access the full data and insert the relevant information in your personalized emails. This also means that not every data needs to be logged to a user profile and incurring data points. If there's just simply too much data to log on a user profile, but you never know when you'll need which data, here's what you can do. You can request the engineering team to stand up an API endpoint with the desired data so that the marketing team's Brace specialist can use their technical chops and pull the data themselves using connected content. And before we can talk about making a connected content call, we first need to find some data to work with. And we found the perfect publicly accessible data, random cat facts. And to be honest, I'm more of a dog person and we're getting our first dog in just a few weeks. Uh, but random cat facts was the only publicly accessible data that was easy to work with that we could find. So catfact.ninja's random cat fact API endpoint is in the description. And because it's a publicly accessible endpoint, you can actually click on the link and take a look at the full raw data. So let's check it out. Whoa, not so friendly, is it? So here's a resource that will beautify this daunting code. If you install this Chrome extension called JSON formatter, and the function is in the name to turn that ugly code into, refresh the page, into this so much better. We can actually visually understand the code and this makes it much more practical to navigate this code. And we can see the random cat facts here. And we'll have a whole new video dedicated to navigating through the data. But for now, let's jump into Braze and use connected content to pull this data. For simplicity, we will use a email for our channel. So navigate to messaging, campaigns, and create campaign email. Let's name this campaign random cat Effects and click HTML editor, should be the default, choose blank template, and then we'll click edit email body. And copy and paste the connected content script that's in the description below. And we have that pulled up here. All right, so here we go. So now before we go to the preview tab, let's break down each part of the script. Um, so let me zoom in here real quick. So starting with connected content, um, and this is a Braze custom liquid that indicates that this script is a connected content call. It's required at the beginning of every connected content call. It's just simply stating that this line is going to be a connected content API call. This link right here is the API endpoint that we're pulling the data from. So we saw this link earlier. This is where all our cat facts live. And we are simply uh, stating the endpoint that we're going to be pulling the data from in this connected content call. And lastly, the colon save space cat underscore facts. So what this is doing is this is a command within the script to save the returned data in a variable called cat facts. And if the script said random cat facts, then the return data would be saved in a variable called random cat facts. Um, we'll go back to just cat facts. So now we are saving the, uh, saving the data in a variable called cat facts. So now that we have the data, let's zoom back out and let's click the preview tab and see that there is nothing happening. Hmm. So what's happening here is we fetch the data in the backend with our connected content script, but we actually have to render the data that's living inside that variable. So let's go back to edit email and let's go back to our HTML editor. And the data lives in a variable called cat facts. And we, let's actually render this variable uh, with our two curly braces, paste the variable name, close with two curly braces. And now what we're doing is we are taking this variable and we're actually using it or we're surfacing it or we're rendering the data that's inside the variable. So let's click the preview tab again. 
And whoa, we definitely got the data this time, but we don't want all the unnecessary data. And we're back at that daunting amount of code before we installed the JSON formatter Chrome extension. However, we did successfully make a connected content API call, which was the purpose of this video. So if you got this far, please give yourselves a round of applause. And definitely check out the next video that will talk about how to navigate all this data. I'll also be sharing my go-to super helpful resource that I use when I'm working with Brace Connected Content. To summarize, Connected Content allows you to insert any information accessible via API directly into messages you send to your users. And this allows you to avoid storing data inside user profiles and lower your data point consumption. If you have any questions, please share them in the comments. We're happy to help. And if you learned something from this tutorial, please subscribe for more awesome Brace tutorials in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time.